Hi friends, it's math time. Today we're learning about our multiplication strategy called equal groups, or as we call it in our third grade classroom, loops and groups. I'm using this math mat to show my model today, but you can use a blank sheet of paper, which I'll show you soon. First step is getting our factors. Today we have three times four, or as we like to say, three groups with four in each. Let's use this model. First, I'm gonna start with those three groups, making a one and a two, and three for our groups. Second step is modeling those four in each. I like to use this dice strategy, meaning I put it in an organized way to help me make sure I can count up each of my pieces in each group. Now is the fun part, finding our total or our product. I can count these up one by one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, or we can use one of those strategies we learned earlier with skip counting or repeated addition. I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, modeling my skip counting as I go, or one of my favorites, of course, repeated addition, four plus four plus four. No matter which strategy I use that is best for my brain, I will still come out with my correct total or my final product, which is 12. Now, for learning purposes, I do want to explain that we can also switch our three times four, meaning we could have had four loops with three groups in each, like I've modeled back here. Both strategies will get you the same product, but notice how they're modeling very differently. If I was using a real world situation here, this would be three students with four candies each versus four students with three candies each. So yes, of course, both of these products are 12, but remember when we are modeling, we often will use that first number as our groups, one, two, three, and that second number of how many we have equally in each group, four, four, and four. So yes, a quick reminder, three times four and four times three are the same answer. However, make sure when we're visually modeling them, we're making sure that first number is our groups, that second number is how many in each, and of course, we'll have our final product or our total. Good luck with math. Have a wonderful day.